what's going on guys, Alfie here and welcome to another Trinity Tales video and in today's video, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, we're going to be shiny hunting Duralodon. Now this was another request by EJ in the uh, Trinity Tales Discord. If you're not aware of that Discord, there is a Discord for anyone who wants to join it. The link will be in the description below. You can basically make video suggestions for us for what you want us to hunt. You can talk about TCG, shiny Pokemon, basically anything Pokemon, more than welcome. The link for that is in the description below. But yeah, back to the video. Today's video is Duraludon, as I said, and you're going to want to head to this location here. Now, it is... Polar Outdoor Classroom is probably the best place to fly to, and then you just want to head towards the coastal biome, scale the mountain, and just get to this location. I picked this location, even though you can do it a, quite a bit of the mountain, just because it is a nice flat surface, so when you went to do that picnic, it actually lets you do it. So, before we get into the picnic, always save your game before you use any Herba Mystica, because it can be very hard to get it back. But you want to save your game first so if you do fail to get the shiny with your first sandwich you can just soft reset and go again. Now if I remember correctly from the Applin video because that's the last time I actually used the dragon sandwich it is one cucumber, one pickle, three avocados and then any two herb mystica. I'm going to go with bitter and sweet because it's not one of those sandwiches that you really really dread making like the bug sandwich for one. That's a painful sound. Once you get out of that, you should almost immediately, there we go, see the Duraludon popping up. I will say be wary of this shiny because it is a hard shiny to spot. I think the tuft on the top of its head goes from red to silver. I haven't caught one yet, so I don't know. Um, I just know it's difficult. But again, you can travel up quite a way on this mountain before you start to get other things spawning. But realistically, you can stay down on this flat bit and just do a loop because it is a nice large wide open space plenty of spawns i've been healthy thanks for watching bye